Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to ICT class. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to add table to Microsoft Word and how to format it. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to insert table using shading, using borders, add row and columns to exist table, delete row and columns from exist table. Let's go to know how to do this. Working with table. When you want to work with a number and other data, you use a spreadsheet, a Excel program or Microsoft Excel. But what do you do when you want to show organized information in a text document? You need to open the text document and see uh, organized data inside this text file. For example, you need to display your school schedule. In this case, you can use a table. This kind of tables, this table is a grade with rows, columns, and cells like on a spreadsheet let's see how to create a table first we need to open microsoft word as i said before we can open by click on start menu select office group and select microsoft word or you can write in search bar word and select Word from start menu. Select blank document. To create a table, on insert tape, is insert tape, press on insert tape. Table group, this table group, select table. Again, from insert tab and table group, select table or click on table. When you are clicking on table, you need to select rows and columns. These rows and columns. How many rows you need in this table and how many columns you need in this table. First, I will select size four rows and four columns. When I press click, my table is drawing on document. Again, from insert tab, table group, Click on table. Select how many row. I will select four row. How many columns? I will select four columns also. This table, it will be four by four. Okay, and press click here. Our table will draw in document. Now I have table with four rows and four columns. This place its name cell. This is cell number one, cell number two, three, H. If I need to type, just click inside the cell and start typing. Now I have columns and rows this name is cell between columns and row its name cell when i need to type just click inside cell and start type i will start typing now i will write here from 9 to 10 and 10 to 11 
11 to 12. Here I will write days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. After I writing, I need to format this table. Formatting a table. It's very easy to format your table using table style group or create a custom format. To apply style, click somewhere in your table, at anywhere in your table, and from table design, table design, and from table style, this table style, you can select any style of this table. I press in this drop box. You will find a lot of styles you can select from it. I will repeat again. If you need to create a style to your table, press at anywhere in your table from table design and from table style group this table style group select style you like any style you like i have a lot of styles here and i can also make a custom style but let's first select a style from style group you can choose or select anyone you like. Okay, we will select this one. I will repeat again. If you need to create a style to your table, press at anywhere in your table. From table design tape, this table design tape, I press on table design tape. And from table style, group this table style group i can select any style i like to add to my table you can choose any style like this one i will select this one this style or formatting your table You can also make a custom style. If you want to do this, you can use a borders or shadow button. Border, insert lines around a table or inside a grid, and shadow color this cell. Let's see. First, I will undo this change. If you need to create a border for your table select your table press here to select your table and from table design you can select your border these borders you like a bottom borders only top left around or borders I press now it will delete all press again all border it will make a border for all cells you can select what you like again we press borders i will select this one all borders all borders will appear inside them to use shading Select the area of table. I will select whole table. Press here to select whole table. On design, table design also. And shading group. You can see this shading group. Press on this shading group. You can select the color you like to shade your table. If you like to 
create a two shading group or different shading in table you can select i will select this row and press in shading select other color like this one and i will select this column how to select column if you need to select column only press when uh, mouse cursor become a uh, black arrow like this you know black arrow when i press only one click it will select all column repeat again i press here if i need to select any column by mouse cursor when become a black arrow only just one click it will be select the column and also the same on row when become mouse arrow like this white arrow only one click it will select the row now i need to select this column just one click and press on shading select different color like this color right like this color okay and also a bit like again like shading for this yeah. okay you can also shade every every cell you like to create other color you can do it for this cell only press on side cell and select the color you like okay i prefer only two colors these two colors one for columns and one for row inside i like it at a white okay you can make this shading up to you. or you can also select a a style for your table not custom you can select a style for for your table directly like this one editing your table sometimes you may want a large table than the one you are created like this one i need a large table i need to add a one column here did i create a new table or i can add column or row to my table it's a good news you can add a columns or rows to your table you are created before on this table i need to add uh, a new column here for salad day right click the cell next to which you want to add a row or columns right click the cell next to which I need to add this column and I will select insert in this case I will insert insert column to the right it will add a new column and I can start editing if I need to insert a row by the same way right click inside cell press insert if you need to insert row above or row blue you can select i need to insert row blue to delete a row or a column if you need to delete a row or a, a column from your table at any cell in this row or column you need to delete press right click from pop up menu select delete cell in this case i will select delete entire column and press ok this column it will be deleted if i need to delete a row at any cell of this row you can press right click and from pop up menu also select delete cells in this case i will select delete entire row and press ok 